Hi, and welcome to a new section in this course. In this section, uh, we'll be talking about the LabJack device family and focus specifically on the LabJack T4, which you can see right here. This is the device that we'll be using throughout this course, and I will be using it to demonstrate the various capabilities. Pretty much all of these capabilities are available across many LabJack uh, devices, or most LabJack devices, I should say. However, there are a few important features that are only available on the T7 and the T4. More about that in a moment. In this section, uh, we'll also be talking about the LabJack T4 specific uh, features and specifications. I'm also going to introduce Kipling, which is the software application that we'll be using to work with LabJack. I'm also going to talk about other options that uh, you have in terms of software that work with LabJack. I'm also going to mention the Modbus server. Uh, Modbus is a communications protocol uh, that is available on the T4 and T7 devices and allow us to work with LabJack via a network, either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. And um, we'll be doing a lot of work with uh, Modbus uh, throughout the course, actually, even Kipling, which is the application that we'll be using to work with the LabJack, is interacting with the LabJack via Modbus. So again, more about that later. Now, in this first lecture, I just wanted to uh, show you a couple of resources on the LabJack website where you can find information about the various available devices. At the top of the list, you have the T7 and the T4. Uh, I'll be using the T4, as I said, throughout the lectures in this course. Uh, what these two devices have got in common is that they, first of all, run a Modpass TCP server. You see both of them have this capability. Uh, they are able to run Lua scripts on the device itself in hardware and uh, have dedicated sections and multiple lectures on how to do this. And they have communications capabilities uh, via Ethernet and Wi-Fi for the T7 and uh, Ethernet only for the T4 in addition to USB. And USB is the, the default communication method for all LabJack devices. Apart from that, uh, then you've got the U3 and U6 devices, which are very similar to T7 and T4, except that they only offer USB connectivity and there is no uh, Modbus server, and also they don't have the ability to run Lua scripts in hardware. And uh, there's a, a few other U uh, series devices as well. Um, UE9, uh, as you can see here, does offer Ethernet connectivity, but as far as I know, it does not have Modbus server running on board. And again, you are not able to run Lua scripts, which is a very interesting and powerful feature. Again, uh, more details about that in a dedicated section in this course. I'm going to focus on T7 and T4. These two seem to be the most popular uh, LabJack devices. And have a look at the core features for the T-series of the devices. So I'm looking at section 1.1 of the documentation resources on the LabJack device. And this is where you can see specific information about the capabilities of the T7 and the T4. As you would expect, the T7 and the T4 are very similar to each other. They have similar capabilities. The T7, of course, have got more of them. It's got more analog inputs, outputs, more digital input outputs, um, more extended features. Uh, it also has more accuracy. For example, you can see here in the uh, T7 analog input output, you've got two DACs, digital to analog converters that are 12 bits. On the T4, this is a 10-bit accuracy or 10-bit resolution. So things like that are the main differences between these two models. There's also another page right here that spells out exactly those differences. So the T4 versus the T7, you can see that the resolution uh, is increased on the T4 versus the T7. And there are also differences in the way that the flexible input-output ports or lines work. There are also two variants of the T7. There's a T7 and a T7 Pro. And again, you can see the differences here. I'm not going to go through all the details here. 
uh, but I just want to point out the location of the documentation. I'm going to leave this introductory lecture here and move on to the next lecture where I will focus on the T4 specifications and have a, a closer look at this device that you're looking at right now.